in the Grand Canyon, on that Colorado River, inside the Grand Canyon. They rate these rapids on a scale of one to ten for ferocity and turbulence and severity, huh? Hermit Rapid rates a nine, a nine out of ten at all water levels. So it's a really big rapid down there. And it's what the river rafters really anticipate as they're moving downstream here. What? Heading uh, heading towards right? Hermit Rapid, going yeah. from right to left here, going away from us around the corner, Hermit Rapid. And if you watch that white water like like I am, especially at the portions of it that are away from us, you can see those waves uh, of white water disappearing and then reappearing and disappearing. And pretty good drop, 5,000 feet deep down there, the river, the, on the average of the canyon. Oh yes, yes, elevation, sir, indeed, as the gentleman, as, as you have pointed out, sir, that uh, that elevation drop uh, in these rapids maybe averages something like 20 to 30 feet, 20 to 30 feet of, as for certainly these major rapids, you know, and this one is wide grain, kind of light gray, light tan, shaggy bark, creepy foliage, blue green and blue gray berries are a big feature on the juniper trees, that one's right there out on the edge of everything, tremendously hardy trees. Yeah, so the uh, alligator out there is part of those rock layers that are called the Supai group mm -hmm. and the hermit shale. The hermit shale sits on top. That's what the alligator is formed from. But uh, those rocks are there, that characteristic orange, red, orange, brown color because they have effectively rusted. And that's why they display that very vivid coloration that's a, a very obvious across the canyon too. Over there uh, towards the north rim, all the way around the canyon. Those same connected supai group layers and the hermit shale. The hermit shale sits on top. That's what the alligator is formed from. Very, very characteristically colored rocks. Rust. They have effectively rusted. They have a very high iron content and they have effectively rusted due to that iron content. And that's why they have that characteristic orange red, orange brown color. And it is very vivid. The, those rocks are, are differentiated from other rock layers just by their color. And the River Gorge rocks are very different. Yeah, we'll talk about them coming up. Did we get a pretty good look there? Yep. All right, let's go. Let's get up out of, out of the bus.